Well, thanks for joining us. Hard fought win. What you got there? Yeah, the best wins. Um, that little bit of luck today, which has been against us, we had. Um, but the boys defended the box magnificently um, against such presence that they have up there. I thought they kept him quiet most of the afternoon. Um, the main, the main objective with the clean sheet today, um, we've got that. Um, but I think there was a turning point in the game, which should have been, which would have made the afternoon a little bit um, different for us. I, I feel. But um, it's turned it into a good week, hasn't it? It's not easy to find out what the rules and decisions are. We're not quite sure about what happened with the penalty. We're not quite sure how they rule advantage. We're all mixed up. Don't have a clue. Don't, I don't have a clue. Um, but just the disappointing thing is we've had two sendings off and one's on the halfway line for a genuine attempt for someone to win the ball. And then I'm told that wasn't a goal scoring opportunity. He didn't even get a yellow card. Uh, so. I don't know what the what the rules are. They all gang together on the sidelines and come up with one answer after about five minutes. Um, I, I don't think it's good enough. We, um, we had a look like a counter-attacking opportunity, which we've been working on against them. Then he just blows his whistle when we're, I think it's 4v3, driving to their half. Um, well, no, we'll celebrate the win. Um, a really good start to the year. Yeah, let's get to the positives about it all because uh, it was a fine bit of football that got you in the penalty area anyway for the penalty. And once again, he was cool with his penalty taking, uh, Chris Long. Yeah, but he, he's a goal scorer, isn't he? You know, two in, two in. What's that? Probably one full game now, just just over. Um, but we, we knew what we'd have to do. Um, we knew we had to battle on, on against. Um, Newport, we knew we'd have to replicate that today because you can't stop balls being thrown towards your box. You can't; it's impossible to stop because the goal you'll do. It. So we had to battle that. And I just thought um, we'd have the moments of quality when the boys got the ball down and played. But I thought they played the game properly um, and tried to play at the right moments. But I thought the professionalism and the game management at times was excellent. Um, and like I say, it was a, a lovely move to get up there. Um, in the half again and baffled by the decision making of the officials but he took his penalty really well um, and say we get, get a few players back we can make some changes it, it, things look differently it was effort it was terrific you know they played all these games and it's the same group of players because <coughs> of your, where you are decimated with your squad where did they get that energy from I'm not sure they're just top fellas aren't they they're just good good people we want to do well um, and when you've got people who, who are doing that and want to churn out hard working performances and look we play some decent football um, I, I think it can take you a long way they're just an honest bunch of good hard working lads taking the information taking criticism well in a positive way um, it's just a, it's a credit to be around them there were some real good efforts from from everybody out there but some in particular and I thought Courtney Baker Richardson did absolutely fantastic for you. He, he just worked his socks off, didn't he? Worked his socks off, put his body in. I said to him at half time, I said their set of halves looked up for it at the start, then the first 10 minutes, and he just did him in. He just did him in, and he, not necessarily when his head is, but getting his body in the line. Every time the ball bounced, they ended up kicking out of play. And it's just such a big help um, when he performs like that. They say he's churning out minutes, isn't he? He's churning out minutes that Elliot never the best he felt today, so we were able to get him on a little bit earlier. Um, but I don't just want to pinpoint it's the whole squad. Um, they work ever so hard. Um, and hopefully we keep getting the backing off the fans because they need it, it gives them a little bit of a lift it gives them that extra 5-10%, whatever you want to call it Well, I've trust you about one other player because he's Luke Offord and you've got a, had a different role here and there for him in, in the last couple of games how talented was he when he was on the ball? I, I, I thought he was the best player on the pitch if I'm honest um, I think the transition of being able to get him to play in midfield has come from the work you know we've done, Ryan's done in terms of our playing out, him stepping into midfield. Um, so I think that transition of doing that's then helped him, but he's just he's a top lad, a top, top lad. Um, he just loves getting stuck in as well and he, he just does, love, enjoys every side of the game and just so like level-headed with what he's doing and never, never low, never high. Occasionally smiles at you, um, but no, I thought I thought he would. You know, I said I just said I didn't want to pinpoint anyone, but I, I thought he was the best player on the pitch. You set it up nicely for where you go next to Mansfield that you know all about and the, the manager there as well. Tough in it. They're on a, they're, yeah. they're a good team. They're probably as good as any in the division. Going to be tough. We'll give the players a couple of days off now, rest them up, um, um, see what we can do between now and then as well. It gives us staff a little bit of opportunity to do some work behind the scenes. Um, but we're going to have to be ready, aren't we, against a really top team. Um, 
I might ring the manager, see if he'll leave a couple out. But no, they're, they're a good outfit, aren't they? Really good team. Are you moving in the right direction? You did say to us you got a meeting with a player after the, um, the game on Friday. How's, how's your January window? Unfortunately, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> It'll be the same question for the next 30 days. Yeah, and I'll probably sound like, I'll sound like a broken record. I'll give so you the same I. diplomatic <laughs> answers. Trying, but no, I spoke to two players. A really good meeting with one who's going to he's, he's got a decision to make. Looks like we've got the other one done. Um, so he hopefully join us tomorrow or Wednesday. Is it? Is it Monday? Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday tomorrow, Tuesday, tomorrow Wednesday. Um, and then we've obviously got all the targets, and we could be down the line with one of them. Who we're just waiting to hear back off their parent club. Um, but I'll say it again: we've been here and done that until they're all signed. You don't know, but I'll, we, we're working hard.